get straight into the tips. So for a yo-yo, ultimately it's a repeat change of direction uh, and acceleration test. So you need to be really sound uh, with your uh, movement, your ability to be able to drop body height when you decelerate, hip hinge in the deceleration, get your quick feet underneath your hips and then re-accelerate. Uh, and, and the speed actually increases as we go. So you want to start nice and efficient, uh, moving at a slow pace. Don't move faster than you need to. Get really relaxed and um, focus on your rhythm. Uh, run your own race is always really important. So don't get too competitive at the start. Just save your energy for the end with the yo-yo uh, and just practice turning. And, and when you can, try and um, dissipate the low by turning off one foot and then maybe every uh, every change direction that you do you alternate your sides that you turn off so you're not constantly just loading that your favored side every time um, which could lead to a potential injury uh, into the 2k time trial uh, pacing is probably the strategy of a 2k time, time trial is probably the most important so for your 2k time trial at least do one between now and then that this could be one because it's not done at high speed you could even do it twice between so one you know, four weeks out and then one, two weeks out. Um, and maybe you put, you're getting a little bit of extra, if you're still playing footy, you're getting a little bit of extra aerobic work early in the week. Um, so it's, you, you're not impacting your upcoming game and uh, you get a little bit of improvement uh, over four weeks. Typically, as we get close to the combine two weeks out, there's no real physical adaptation. We shouldn't be chasing high load at that stage. We want to be tapering your work. So reducing your work your total body load. Um, so you're not going into the combine fatigue because a lot of it is uh, endurance and, and power-based, uh, either, either endurance or power-based. You want to make sure you're going in uh, feeling good, uh, not with niggles and feeling fatigued. From an agility point of view, similar to the yo-yo, uh, however, obviously intensity is key. So we're not. it's not an endurance test, the agility, it's a speed test. So dropping your body height is going to be um, critical uh, with the change of direction point of view so making sure you're hinging at the hips um, and you, you, you're um, dropping that body height so you're able to accelerate and change direction um, well you're not getting sloppy uh, and running tall at the at the uh, points of change of direction to be able to put generate good force into the ground and that lateral um, direction that we need to try and create um, especially when we're changing direction of your body um, making sure that you're dropping that body height is key um, also um, making sure that you're not uh, you're using your arms crossing over across the body. I see that a lot with running technique with the change of direction. It's short, compact arms to make to help you maintain speed throughout the test. For our standing jump and your uh, we, your dynamic jump, where you get a few strides at it, um, really important that you're jumping in, in the ball of your foot, not with the weight on your heels. So we want to think of the ball of our feet, our toes or our accelerators, if you're thinking of a car analogy. And if you've got weight on your heels, it's like having um, one foot on the brakes. Okay, so you're going to be burning a lot of energy. You're not going to be able to generate the same amount of force into the ground as using our elastic uh, energy, which is stored in the balls of our foot. So to ensure that you're making the most of um, that dynamic area of, the, of your ankle joint, make sure that you've got a little bit more weight shifted towards the front of your foot compared to the back of your foot with your jumps. You make sure you hinge right over, so we're getting good momentum by using our torso. So don't stay upright the whole time with the, um, with the jump test. Make sure you hinge at the hips. That way, you'll generate a lot of momentum using your uh, trunk, and of course, follow through with your arms as well. So your arms should follow where you want to go. So as you hinge at the hips and your torso comes forward, arms should go down, and then when you're driving up towards this to um, tap the uh, top of the test that's where your arms want to be reaching as high as you can then in terms of our 20 meter test we want to make sure you nail the start so that first five meters is also measured uh, the 10 meter mark and then the 20 so um, practicing your first three steps is critical from a st uh, static position like you'll do on the test so your ability to be able to your rate of force development will be key how fast you can generate force uh, i.e. acceleration will be really, really key for the 20-minute test. So practice uh, your starts at least twice a week. Uh, and the perfect time to do that if you're still playing footy is before training, um, where you load up that front foot. And imagine when you do that first step um, that you're trying to put a hole in the ground. That's how much force you're putting into the ground. So that should project you forward. 
in that motion. Short, compact arms is really, really important. So we're getting that co-contraction through our trunk uh, and making sure you, you're really punching the ground um, with speed. So you're using your hips, um, not just your lower legs. Um, so putting good force in the ground every strike. But our podcast uh, listener, this week we have Chris Carlisle. He'll be, um, that podcast will be on Wednesday. We have our uh, another collab event, which will be awesome with... Um, Shep Mates, 9 to 5 Fitness, Prime Train, and ADOS. That will be on Friday, the 9th of September at 3 p.m. So to make sure to tune in for that one via YouTube. And if you have any questions for these social media experts, make sure to direct message us and I'll add that to the run sheet. And then on Sunday, our bite-sized episode will be with Tim Gabbett, the sports science expert and famous for uh, developing the acute to chronic ratio. If you're new to our program and you're thinking about joining uh, for podcast listeners only um, and for the month of September, I'm going to have an exclusive offer of if you buy a two months straight up on our program, you get the third month for free. So normally that would be $297. Our program is $99 a month, our online program. If you buy three months up front, you'll get the third month for free. So that's $198 for a 12-week program so if you want to get straight into your off-season program and attack it it gets fitter faster stronger make sure to make up uh take us up for this offer it'll expire in september and i won't i won't offer it again throughout uh the calendar year so it's just for those that are really hungry really motivated and want to make the most of their off-season pre-season this year and you want to smash your 2k time trial uh as well as hit some pbs in the gym then um this is the offer for you so Hit me up. All you need to do to activate this is just email me at jackapapelikapro.com saying I want to take you up for the three-month offer or you can direct message us on any of our socials. I don't know exactly what you mean and I'll get you started straight away. Thank you for tuning in. If you have any questions uh, regarding the podcast or any guests that you want us to have on for the podcast, make sure to reach out and I'll see you guys next week.